Hundreds of daycare workers on strike across the nation, and they've been closed due to this strike. It's part of a day without childcare, a national day of action. Our Nancy Liu is live in Los Angeles with what workers are fighting for. Nancy. Well, Kelsey, today's job action stretches across 27 states and impacts scores of families. Despite the inconvenience, many parents support the fight for policy change and higher wages for child care providers. People do not see us as human beings trying to do things for other people's families. They call themselves the workforce behind the workforce. And for many, their essential work doesn't pay enough to cover their essentials. We're still only getting paid like $4 an hour, $5 an hour. We are the workforce behind the workforce. So on this national day without child care, about 400 providers are on strike as organizers call on lawmakers to up the fight for a living wage for all child care workers. We have to make sure that we're sending a very clear message that the crisis is real, that we need to take action now, and that we're going to hold them accountable. We're going to hold our elected officials at all levels of government accountable to make sure that they actually deliver on this. Like other industries, daycare and preschool providers are also plagued by staffing shortages. So in much of the country, demand far outweighs supply. Many parents support this day without daycare, adjusting to disruption and echoing the message. Say power to the people. Yes, yeah, they invest in child care infrastructure. This is just one part of a series of escalated events uh, that we're ready to make happen to make sure that we actually get what we're trying to get here, which is an equitable child care system that works for all families. And according to federal data, the median wage for the average child care worker is just over $13 an hour, and the workforce is 11% smaller than it was pre-pandemic. Kelsey? Oh, Nancy, workers fighting for more pay, but what a headache for these parents. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.